Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Higurashi When They Cry Chapter 4 Himatsubushi. So last time we finished up the chapter, right? Very nice conversation between Oishi and Akasaka there, the last uh, scene, last epilogue part, I guess. And today we're gonna do the all cast review. So let's check it out. Who's gonna be here though? We don't have the usual folks, right? So who's gonna be? Who's gonna be here, I mean? Oishi? Okay, so Oishi is gonna be here, I mean. Oishi? Oishi? <laughs> <laughs> you are the star of this, Oishi. Yes. And the music was really good. What? I mean, Mion was there as well, but she was a kid, yeah. What? <laughs> Even Rena is here. Yeah, side story, basically, yes. As Min said, this is a side story. True, Satoko and Renachan. Didn't even show up. <laughs><笑> <laughs> I mean, she had, uh, I mean, Satoko had small roles in the first and second chapters, though, right? <laughs> and she had a big, a little bit bigger one on the third one, of course. おまけ的なシナリオとは聞いてたけど実際どうよなんだか随分話が もう<笑> 
かなり大きい情報だよ僕がきっとミコなのでお社様のお告げで未来が分かったに違いないのですよ。Or you are the reincarnation of a Yashiro 様。うーん。人間犯人説の私としてはそれは真っ先に否定したいところだな。But yeah, for me, I'm with Mion with、uh, like most of the things that dying and stuff, right? Is work of humans, but for Rika chan here, I think、uh, the supernatural stuff. Is just with her. Lena was a tatari hand, Hinamiza, or Mimamuru, or Yashiro Sama, no Marekari, or Rika Chami. So you jin Turikim, Shutosuru, the Atan Janaka, not the Mona. Ah, damn it, a man. Ningen have a so you etino shirenai fantasy, or Isai, Mitomenaino. Jiken was sweet and Ningen no Shiwaza. たりも魔法も生かさまもずるも一切なし僕は魔法とか使えたら素敵だと思いますのですよリカちゃんならなんとなくそういうのが使えてもいいかなって思うなはうもう人間派にとっては最後の最後でとにかくこれはでかい情報
がなかった恨みは恐ろしいんですのよ本編の分まで里子が大活躍なのです出番なしの恨みってわけかくそいつの間にこれだけのトラップをここがお疲れ様会の会場に選ばれたその時点ですでに私のトラップにかかっていたということになるんではありませんの<笑>そうかわかったあんたの後ろで糸を引いているやつがいるねいるんでしょ出てきなさい<笑> She on Yeah, she was not there, Dora. Yeah. ハロロマイシスターごきげんよう。シーちゃんだこんにちはほら同じ罠に二度もかかってかわいそうかわいそうです。やっぱりシオンか何気に主役張ったシナリオまであるのにこの狼藉あんたはやってくれるじゃないの<笑>回答編前の折り返しおまけシナリオとはいえお姉だけに出番を許すほど私も寛大じゃないってことです I mean, is gonna be the lead in the next chapter, right? <笑>まあそんなわけで。ちょっとサトコを焚きつけさせてもらいましたシオンあんた何が望みなの安全圏の確保とでも言いますか昨今ですねどういうわけかお姉がじりじりと票を伸ばしてるんですよねの間でも結構多いんだよ<笑>小意地の悪いあんたのボロが出てプレイヤー処刑はやっと私の魅力に気づいてきたってことだねさとこもたたり殺しで好評家らしいしレナやリカちゃんには根強い固定票があるしあんたの人気もとっくに陰ってるってことだねそういうわけで不穏に票を伸ばすお姉やさとこをここいらで一つ叩き落としておこうと思いましてこういう大仕掛けを打たせてもらったというわけですシオンさん今何と言いまして私も叩き落としてっておちびちゃんは気づくのが遅いようで。メインヒロインはこれでおしまいですシロンちゃんそこまでやらなくてもいいんじゃないかなまあまあジロンさん面白いからほっときましょうよ私たち二人の出番がいっぱい増えるのよジロンさんは私と一緒いやあ<笑>そそんなことないよ<笑>シエ先生先生までシーちゃんに買収されちゃったんですかごごめんねリュウグンさんあれさえどうもこれじゃあペシオンさんが次回のシナリオからは教えてチア先生のコーナーを作ってくれるって言うからつい A new segment called Teach Me チア先生さあてっと誰から恥ずかしい処刑をしてあげましょうかね
大仕掛けを手伝ってくれたお礼に里子からかなそれは許しませんよ、oh, サトコちゃんに対する狼藉は私入江京介が許すわけにはいきません私も脇役一派ではありますが怪獣できると思わないことですよありゃこの後に収録予定の「実録」サトコメイド教育着せ替え編の主役は交番したいとシオン様この入り江一生どこまでもついてまいります怪獣はやさーてこれですべて私の支柱ですねこれからはお疲れ様かいもシナリオもすべて私の思うままに進めさせてもらいますねあれ一人足りないシオン様リュウグさんがいませんいつの間に抜け出したのかいたリュウグさんさっき身動きしてはいけませんって言ったはずですよレナちゃん悪いことは言わない抵抗しない方が無難だよレナ悪いけどこんなやり方おかしいと思いますそれは何のマネレアカシ編の台本なるほど。登場回数を削られる前に確保しておこうという魂胆ね。I like、uh, that they are fighting、uh, for more roles on the next chapter, I suppose. <笑>無駄な抵抗。レナさん。And yeah, she only is the lead there, so that's why she's like this. <笑>無駄な抵抗はよして、おとなしくした方がいいと思います。私をあんまり怒らせると。あなただけでなくお姉たちの処遇も変わってくることになりますよ台本を確保したくらいじゃ何もできないよレナここは悔しいけど言う通りにした方が大丈夫安心してこの目明かし編の台本が加わったことでレナたちはこの状況を逆転できるの逆転一体どんな秘策があると言うんですの<笑>レナさんは結構笑わせるのがうまいですねなら試してみたらどうですその逆転ってやつを試しに見せてくださいしーちゃんは甘えてる本編にいくら出番がなかったからってこうしてお疲れ様会でこれだけの出番を得ているのに甘えてるよ<笑>私がいつ甘えたって言うんですしーちゃんは分かってないたとえお疲れ様会だけといえども出演し他のシナリオにもあれだけ登場しておいてこの狼藉そんなしーちゃんをね許すことができない地獄の遠さが。聞こえてこない。OK <笑>。そ、そうか。わかりましたわ。そうか。I don't actually get it. What? ケイちゃんか。Oh, ケイチ。Wait, ケイチ is angrier? What? そうだよね。お疲れ様会はいつも出番なし。I mean, I guess, yes. <laughs> そのケイちゃんを差し置いてお疲れ様かい占領なんてケイちゃんが許すはずがないなるほどでそのいまだに収録居残り中のケイちゃんがどうやってここへ現れると
まさかケイちゃんを私たちの誰かが追い抜いたわけでもあるまいに<笑>そう思うのがシーちゃんの満身だよ<笑>いけないあれは赤坂編の収録ワード数表シエ先生レナちゃんを取り押さえて<笑> What is that? It's just chaotic, man. He's actually here, though. Yeah, it doesn't sound like a phone call. So, so the voice is Kei chan. Masako, Kei chan was still in the middle of the show. So, so, I was still in the middle of the show. So, so, I was still in the middle of the show. So, so, I was still in the middle of the show. So, so, I was still in the middle of the show. それでも他のキャラと比べても2倍あるいは3倍以上もある分量をこなすなど不可能というか最初から参加させる気ないだろ音響監督さんよーと思って諦めてきたがついに俺は抜いたあるキャラを OK someone overtook me シオンこれを見やがれーえそう主役として登場パターンが増えたシオンは当然しゃべるワード数もこれまでの2倍しかもミオンとキャストが同じだからさらに2倍 Wait, what? They have the same VA cast? Also, they have the same voice actor? Yeah, it sounds a little bit different from ミオンとシオン just a little bit, but it was the same VA, okay その結果俺はようやくついに居残り免除 I actually thought that、uh, they were using a different one for Shion. So, Shion! Kondo a omae ga inokori da! Uso! Watashi, tsugi no meakashi de konna ni shaberan desu ka? Eh, to, Kei chan ga yak 500 de. Shion wa. 2750e! That's a lot, yeah, triple. これ普通のアドベンチャーゲームなら全キャラの総合計算だよ<笑>しかもこれにミーの数が加わるのですその数やなんとうわー聞きたくない聞きたくないというわけでだレナ感謝するぜ月にすら見放され真の闇が地上を覆いしとき漆黒の魔王前原啓治降臨。I see if it's like this, he can appear even if he doesn't have any character art. There's no character or background art, so it's really easy on the production staff. <laughs> so they're just gonna turn it black screen, okay? She <laughs> on. まるで自分が悲劇の主人公みたいな振る舞いだったが俺から見れば実に滑稽千万少しいい気になりすぎたみたいだなお疲れ様会の旅に常に居残りになって色ろの一杯にすらありつけなかった俺の怒りを恨みを悲しみを今こそ教えてくれるぜなんだかケイチくん悪の化身みたいだな化身じゃない魔王と言ってもらいたいぜそして俺が抑圧された悪夢の中で手に入れた闇の力はまさに無限大で無料体操俺の俺による俺のために作り出したこの闇の世界では俺に逆らうことは何人にもかなわぬのだイーチくなんだか怖いな、はあ、怖い<笑>怖
回日暮らしの時間はもう終わりだぜここからはポップでキュートで萌え萌えな日暮らしが始まるのだな、な、な、なんですって前原様ぜひ私もお供に<笑>監督は分かってるじゃねえかじゃあお医者な監督をしもべに迎えた第一弾として我が魔力を見せよう<笑> Wait, Dr. Cum Coach, what? <笑> what? <笑><笑>なんなのこれタカラさんがミニスカナナースさんナース服にしかもピンクとかのギャルゲー的な色じゃないわかってるちゃんと清楚な純白だ What is happening, man? <笑>ナースさんの分際で本編で一度もナース服を着ないとは少子千番さてと次の標的はレレーナーこれじゃ全然形勢は逆転してないよ新しいピンチを迎えちゃってるよはあこんな真っ暗じゃレナにもどうしようもないよさーて次は誰にどんな衣装を着せようかね手堅く。制服、体操服、仕組みの三段コンボでも決めとくか。前原様、最高っす。その後はバニーさんにコンパニオンに、いえいえ、レオタード姿もいいですね。いやいや。いっそみんなお色気全開にしちゃうってのはどうでしょう。も,もちろん靴下は残すのであります。Leave the socks on, okay? <笑>それいいわかってるじゃねえか,か監督俺やっとあんたと打ち解けられた気がするぜいえいえ、前原さん。いえ、ケイ。私のことは。これからはイリーとドクターイリーとお呼びをけー僕たちの子供を忘れちゃ困るよ<笑>トミーとクラウドも常にケイのそばにありますよトミーイリートミーカラウド<笑>ついに揃ったぜ。四天王、ここに剣山だ。ダイリートフォー。ついに。おナレーター。ケイを筆頭に悪の四天王が揃い分。暗黒を得てついに地上に降臨を果たした漆黒の魔王前原圭一。その魔力は絶大にして無比。この闇では誰にも立ち向かえない屈するほかないああヒロインたちはこの闇を抜け出せず魔王たちの思うがままに恥ずかしい衣装を次々と強要され永遠に等身大着せ替え人形の扱いをされてしまうのか最高だぞもっとやれっていうかスクミズはちゃんと Q タイプだろうな。競泳型だったら許さんぞダク。シオンあんたのせいでこうなったんだから、あんたなんとかしなさいよ。大丈夫ですよね。暗闇の中で真の力を得るのはケイちゃんだけじゃないです。えそんな都合のいい味方、ここにいましたっけ<笑>チョコザイナーその先シオンちなみに校長先生を期待してるなら残念だな
男子本会ここに極まれり男たるもの最善を尽くすべしとお墨付きがちゃんとあるのだもちろん新登場の赤坂さんに頼ろうとしても無駄だぜ Yeah, where's Akasaka san right away? You know, Kara Ojo san on Shinru in Yazkete. Who for Mizu Yaz de Onsen Ryoko da Soda Kana? Ooh. Somebody. Apo Fusakari de Akasa. Am I this Neke chan? I in Yamino Sekai Yomida Ste. Mosso Zenkai Scheraka Banzai de Yatishimoto. To Aru Dareka Moshin no Sunata or Arabasco to Nakano Ninarino. To you, Akade. Chia Sense. そういうわけです、前原君。真っ暗でよく見えませんけど、なんだか千恵先生の服装が変わってますわね。なんですの？あの両手にいっぱいの剣を。ま、まさかそんな。Swords。それはいくらなんでも反則、うん。それ以上は内緒なのですよ。ミパー。前原君。少し老いたが過ぎたようですこれ以上は教会も見逃せませんちょちょちょちょちょっと待てよこ,こ,こ,れこれはないだろ映るだろ作品違うじゃねえかおいこんなのなしだろわわちょちょそ,そのでかいのはま,まずいってええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええええ I mean, seventh, seventh Hokage? <laughs> Dude, this is insane, man. I thought in this all cast review. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I thought it was over. Aratame must a conitua. Conota viva, Higurash no Nakoroni Sui, Himatsubusio, Tanoshimi Kudasari, Makotoni Arigato, Gosai Masta. Okay, I think you already know this, but、uh, Higurashi when he cries is a type of visual novel without any choices. Therefore, compared to adventure type visual novels with branching roots to take. To take It's much closer to the experience of a book or a movie. Because of that, there is an opinion out there that this should not be called a game per se. If you're just watching it like a book or a movie, Higurashi When They Cry isn't a really, a really a game. True. That's why, as you know, there are a lot of mysteries referenced during the course of the experience. When you challenge those, those, role work,、uh, be oh, those work will become a proper game. プレイヤーの皆さんにはこの謎に満ちた物語をさまざまな角度から捉え吟味する権利があります例えば劇中に散りばめられた謎について推理をしそれを発表して反響を得たりすることもまた楽しいかと思います In any case, the next chapter starts the answer arcs. Yes! We definitely call it Miyakashi. But answers are a sad thing. Based on what is revealed, all the possibilities that you were allowed to imagine until now will suddenly become refined down to a few. So it's gonna be. We're gonna get our. Yeah. Pretty much the answers as the arc is named after it. And it's gonna be fun. Based on that logic, we think that right here, before the answer arcs, is probably、um, where people can enjoy this work we call Higurashi when they cry the most. If by chance, while you're reading this, you already have the Miyakashi chapter in hand, please enjoy hypothesizing, theorizing, and fantasizing to the fullest before you start. <laughs> That's where the real charm of the series takes place. Sorry for saying something so impudent. There's nothing better with like than for you to enjoy Higurashi when they cry. But this is true though, um. What did he say again? Yeah, hypothesizing, theorizing, and fantasizing is really good.
レナと遊んでくれるなら一緒に宝探しに行きたいな Yes, we will go and look for Randy Coon. But I thought they were gonna be talking about、uh, what happened in this chapter, right? Maybe Akasaka was there, even though just a voice, right? Like how Keichi was appearing in the other all cast reviews. Oishi was there in the beginning of the all cast review, then the other、uh, character suddenly showed up and then he was put to the side. But yes, so for this chapter, as Mion said here, was yeah, pretty much a side story, right? And it was nice because it was kind of like, as I suppose, a break, right? Before we go back to, I guess, the main, the yeah, the main story. But yeah, next time it's gonna be the answer arc, Miyakashi. So that's gonna be really good. But for this one, it's a nice new, how to put this? New perspective or fresh perspective, right? Because, yeah, we started with a different character. Started on 1978, I suppose, like most of, the, most of the story in this chapter is. And it's nice seeing, yeah, the other characters there. No, 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 I mean, like Rika, much younger, right? Mion. And we also knew, what do you call this? More about Rika in this chapter, right? That. Yeah, some supernatural stuff are occurring with Rika. She can see maybe the future. I don't know if she's possessed or she's much older. It is very hard to say, right? Until we know. We will get our answer on the answer arcs, right? But for now, I think. I see she feels much older, though. Maybe. How do I put this? It's kind of hard to say. Maybe she knows already what's happening. Maybe she knows, like, I guess the different chapters. For example, chapter one, what happened in chapter one, right?、And、then what happened in chapter two? And then I guess what happened in chapter three? I think she knows all of those things happened. Maybe something like that for me. And. Did she die? Did she die in the second one, right? Yeah, the first one. We don't know if she died in the first one, right? But yeah, the second one she died, and the third one she died. And then whenever we start a new chapter, it kind of resets, right? So, yeah, maybe I think Rika chan already knows. That's why she's kind of, yeah, maybe she's much older. She h a v e lived, or whenever she,、uh, the time resets, I suppose, for Rika chan, she knows already what happened and what is going to happen. I mean, that's why. When she was talking to Akasaka, they're telling all of those、uh, future stuff that's gonna happen. She, al she already knows in detail, right? Except, I guess, her own death. She did say she was gonna die, but she didn't say how or who's gonna kill her. And yeah, she didn't also say about the Hinamizawa disaster as well, right? So, there's some things there, I think, that. She can only see, I think she can only see maybe until she dies, right? And then afterwards, she doesn't know what happens next or how to prevent it. Just like how Uishi was talking about, if she could have predicted、uh, the other stuff or maybe like the great Hinam Hinamizawa disaster, she could have、uh, told the people to get out, right? But I guess she didn't know that. The only ones she knew was the ones are the ones dying in the Watsanegashi, right? So for the characters itself, I. I like Akasaka. He was, he was pretty cool and he was pretty badass though. But it's a shame though that his wife died in the end, right? She got into an accident. She fell off the stairs. I suppose she died, but I, yeah, I, she was gonna give birth any, like, any day. So yeah, they, they, they saved the daughter. So at least that one, that one was good, right? And then we got Oishi. Oishi in this chapter. Really, really good homie here. Big, big homie.、Uh, very, very nice. His parts in this chapter. I quite enjoyed seeing him being a good partner. I guess, I guess, for, I suppose, partner for Akasaka in this one, right? He was really cool in this one compared to the other ones when, when sometimes he's bad, right? And then, yes, we had Rika chan, as I said, maybe much older. 
maybe can uh, maybe knows uh maybe lives through all of this stuff whenever she dies maybe she just remembers and stuff like that right so that's my theory for rika that when she dies and when you go to the next chapter see she still remembers what happened back then right then that's why she remembers or she knows what's gonna happen something like that and then we got characters like kimiyoshi oreo kimiyoshi he has a uh a portrait now that's pretty much it right and then we also saw makino he didn't have a portrait another old guy in town that was helping i guess akasaka right uh, on his on the tour around hinamizawa so on uh the earlier episodes and then you also saw oreo for the first time i think for the first time we saw oreo right at least with dialogue and he had a picture for oreo we saw that she's uh yeah pretty tough pretty tough she's the she's the head of the shinozaki family but i think she has a soft spot when it comes to like kids not even just i guess not even just me on like all of them i suppose because she was talking about the grandson of what's his name again inokai right he was she was talking about him that it was uh kind of sad that he got kidnapped and stuff like that right and especially for rika chan she was uh very very what do you call this a uh, caring for rika chan she didn't care if rika chan would go into her futon or whatever right she actually liked it and then uh who else though who else showed up here Mion, yeah Mion. Mion's character we saw much younger much younger and we saw even though she was younger here she was still when they had the meeting right when sato-san was saying all of those stuff um he was an informant right he was saying all of the stuff to Akasa Ar akasaka we saw that mion was yeah even though she's very young she's yeah she's like uh, how how to put this was it chapter two and chapter three i think like how she acts there when talking to other people yeah kind of like that still right but yeah just just way way younger and who else i guess yeah no more i mean i don't know the the tips the tips you had there one tip or one tip really or tips i mean like really stuck with me with the diaries of the mother of rika chan right we saw all there that her child or rika chan kind of like scared her mother a little bit because she's so different right and she knows all this stuff i mean i i guess it would freak you out if you are the parent of rika chan right and she's acting so different acting like she's much older acting like she knows what whatever like what like different stuff right she knows how to make curry and stuff like that even though no one taught her that right so yeah we saw her diaries she was kind of freaked out like uh why is her daughter like this and all of the people are doting her daughter right treating her really really good calling her the next uh incarnation of oyashiro sama and yeah i wish we could see um i wish we could have seen i mean her mom though but yeah she she was she was gone now right she was just missing in the present time so who knows maybe we'll have another uh maybe flashback or something like that that we can see rika chan's mom that would be nice though she had a voice actor right her voice actor was yeah pretty young so who knows maybe we'll see you see her because she was just she was just missing there was no body no nothing like that just like satoshi right he was just missing as well <laughs> maybe we could see them in the future but yes i just want to say before we end i just want to ask i mean if you know the the order i mean of i guess this game has some extra chapters right a lot of extra chapters like there was the there was the mods the mods right and they add a lot of extra chapters to this game if you know the what do you call this the order on how to play them or what or order what to play them on uh please tell me so when we do that in the future i can yeah play it in order not not choose like oh, i want i want to do this i want to do that yeah if they can give me the order please do tell me and another one i don't know if you like reactions but i do some reactions on the channel and if you want 
uh, reactions for what the what do you call this? The anime, right? Go, go and so, or was it so? But yeah, the the most recent anime ones, right? I think they said that you need to like play the games, all of it, watch the anime and stuff like that before you go to go and so the much recent ones. Once you finish this, if you want me to react to that, please do tell me as well. And last but not the least, thank you very much if you're here and you check this chapter out with me as well. So hopefully you go and join me again, I mean, when we do the next chapter, Chapter 5, Meakashi The Answer Arcs. So yeah, we're gonna continue this and do more of Higurashi When They Cry and do chapter 5 in the next one. So I'll just see you then guys. Bye bye.